Joining us now is John Handelsman. He is the co-owner and marketing manager with the Better Health Store, Michigan's number one source for organic and natural foods, as well as vitamins and supplements. John, John, thanks for being with us today. Hi, nice to be here. Yeah, good to have you. So tell us a little bit about some of the services that are provided and some of the products that you uh, provide over at the Better Health Store. Okay, well, we have 14 Michigan locations. Um, our, flagship, our flagship store is in Novi. We have some uh, large markets in Shelby Township and in Gross Point, uh, stores in uh, East Lansing, uh, West Lansing, Ann Arbor. Um, I think, well, we're certainly the largest independently or family locally owned uh, natural foods market in uh, Michigan, we think. Uh, and um, we sell a huge variety. I mean, we started out selling mostly like vitamins and supplements and that like vitamin C and all sorts of nutritional supplements like uh, magnesium and calcium and all that. And uh, now um, our stores have become markets as well. So actually slightly more than half of our sales are organic and natural foods now. So we sell um, organic produce uh at at most of our markets and we have uh, meats like drug-free meats uh, uh antibiotic and hormone free meats we have uh, cafes in many of our stores that have sandwiches and flatbreads and uh sometimes salad bars and hot bars and uh huge beverage selection uh huge selection of plant-based foods huge selection of keto foods gluten-free foods foods for special diets so um that's pretty much where we're at. We have a store in Dearborn, but we're opening a larger store in Dearborn. I, I don't know if this is just Oakland County based or it's all a Michigan based. Oh, all so. right. Okay, yeah, we're opening a new store uh, beginning of next month, December, in Dearborn, right on Michigan Avenue. That will be like three, four times the store of our size of our current store there that we'll have like uh, again it'll be a market with a cafe and uh, outdoor eating area which is pretty important these days people like to eat outside for obvious reasons and uh yeah so that's kind of um oh and we also have do a, uh have an e-commerce business betterhealthstore.com uh where we sell you know na nationwide but locally and we have same day delivery to uh, many michigan homes uh, you can order online, and if you order by three in uh, most Metro Detroit and Lansing area zip codes, you can get your order by um, by 8 p.m. that same day, and 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 the shipping is free if you order more than $100. Uh, we're joined by John Handelsman. He is the co-owner and marketing manager for the Better Health Store with 14 locations throughout the state of Michigan, including Better Health Market and Cafes in Novi, Beverly Hills, and Bloomfield Township here in Oakland County. And so. Uh, <laughs> John, the pandemic changed the game for a lot of businesses. It, it changed the identity of a lot of businesses or forced them to, re to um, adjust their identity and adjust the way that they approach the services that they provide. Uh, during this pandemic, with so many people uh, and the general public refocusing the way that they approach their own health, how did that change the game in terms of how you and, and your other co-owners uh, operated the Better Health Store in your business? Um, well, I think it kind of changed everything. I mean, at first, when the pandemic first hit, our sales went through the roof. Like we had huge lines of people like waiting to buy like virtually everything we had on our shelves. And then it, um, then we saw a huge spike in um, immune support products. Like, you know, not that they're really gonna help prevent COVID, but people were buying them anyways, like, um, like elderberry and zinc and vitamin C and medicinal mushrooms to build immunity and sales of those products are still high. Um, and then, then we had a drop off in sales. And so um, we had to really change our delivery model. Again, that's why, why we now offer same day home delivery. We offer free curbside pickup in our stores. Um, and then we had to really change our website a lot. So we started selling like produce and refrigerated and frozen foods, all sorts of things that, you know, weren't online before that you'd had to come in the store and buy them. And now you can purchase them on our website. You know, local customers can for delivery. So uh, everything changed, it's, it's still changed. Of course, we had to like shut down our cafes for a time and, um, you know, our salad bars and hot bars, but those have reopened. And, uh, you know, we're pretty strict about like making sure that the, the, um, 
the stores are super clean inside and that all our associates are wearing masks and uh, and and our customers too certainly if they're not vaccinated we're joined by John Handelsman, the co-owner and marketing manager for the Better Health Store. They have about 14 locations throughout the state of Michigan and are continuing to expand. And so, um, John, a lot of what goes on in a, in a vitamin or a supplement store uh, can at times seem aggressive or seem to be more of a sales ploy than an educational approach to your sales or to, uh, or to helping a customer. What is the Better Health approach to providing these supplements and providing these vitamins and these other services as well to your customers. Because on one hand, of course, you want customers to come in and buy product, but you also want them to ultimately get the benefits that they're looking to seek from these supplements, from these vitamins, from these foods, so that they continue to come back. So what is your approach and your company's approach to it, it, uh, particularly the educational elements of shopping at a health food store like yours? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that, that that approach is is what's our biggest advantage, really, that if you come into it, unlike if you're shopping for supplements or uh, like at a Meyer or, you know, even a Whole Foods, you know, that um, we have um, nutritional experts at all our stores and uh, you tell them what you're looking for. You tell them, you know, what your major health issue is. Is it heart health? Is it are you looking to lose weight? And um, our nutritional experts can suggest the best products for you, um, and, and our prices are always great. Uh, we always have a, a, you know sales going on, and we have like a rewards program. And um, and one thing I'll say about our nutritional experts is that they're not pushy. I think they're, they're really kind, almost like neo hippies, maybe some of them, and they're not going to like force anybody, you know, to to buy anything that they're they're not feeling is is quite right for them so you know they're they're great listeners and they know a lot about nutrition vitamins nutrition supplements and they're they're there to help our our customers uh find the right solutions we're joined by john handelsman he is the co-owner and marketing manager for the better health store uh, joining us today on the megacast and john as time goes on uh, and, and this business has been around for a while um as time goes on, you learn more. You learn more. New information comes forth. Things change, especially on the health side, uh, where more information and more research is being done as years go on. More things are then considered to be healthier than others. Different practices may fall out of the norm because new information comes forth that shows they're either not as effective or are more harmful than they are good. So over the years, what are some ways that uh, Better Health Store, that your business has adjusted on that information to continue to, to stay up to date on what are the healthiest practices so that you can best provide these services to your customers? Mm -hmm. Well, perhaps all businesses are, are trendy and the natural foods business and the vitamin and supplement businesses is, is certainly no exception. I mean, we've seen a number of trends kind of come and go, but certain things seem to you know stick like, uh, uh, there are a lot of people out there that believe in a low carb diet, so or a keto paleo diet, which are sort of new ways to talk about a, a low carb diet. So we still have all sorts of products, even like breads without grain in them, made from cassava flour and, and that to help cut down on carbs, and uh, uh, all sorts of like keto treats and cookies and chocolates without sugar in them. A lot of sugar free products. Um, so um, certain certain uh, trends like we stay uh, on top of, but there's also certain things that are sort of like timeless. And I, I really think like the idea of eating like unprocessed foods, like uh, natural foods, organic foods, you know, the less adulterated or the better. I, I think that those are timeless ideas and we, you know, really hold true uh, to those ideas and really believe in them. And so th that that's no fad. Um, also, like what's really big right now is a lot of people are going meatless. Um, vegan foods, like we're seeing like really strong demand for meat that isn't really meat and dairy that isn't really dairy. And, you know, uh, cheese that, well, which is dairy, that isn't really cheese and all these types of products. So we're seeing like a huge surge in demand for uh, meatless, for uh, vegetarian and vegan 
products in our stores and our selection of those products is like really skyrocketed. I think we have the best selection in town of those products. So that's something that's happening right now. And those products are also environmentally friendly uh, in a lot of ways that, you know, they less stress, you know, on the planet when we're not raising animals to like come up with, with these products and like no methane that goes into the atmosphere, you know. Um, so we're seeing huge demand for that. Another uh, big uh, trend has been the CBD trend and that, and we, we have like a huge selection of CBD products so only like from the top manufacturers, like you can really believe that you're getting what's in the bottle or in the, the gummy or the spray or the tincture when it comes to those CBD products, very popular uh, right now. Um, I guess certain trends have fallen by the wayside. Um, I don't know what, what's really come to mind like uh, right now, but uh, we definitely stay on top of the trends. We're joined by John Handelsman. He is the co-owner and marketing manager at the Better Health Store, joining us today on the Megacast. And uh, you were, uh, and uh, so a lot, a lot of products that a health store like yours would then bring in that are uh, either labeled as natural or label, labeled as organic or as as keto, uh, as vegan, whatever the case may be. In a lot of in a lot of those cases, some of that stuff is not entirely regulated to be true to what it's labeled as what sort of work goes into a quality control goes into from the better health store perspective ensuring that when you bring in certain products as you said you're bringing in the best of the best so that customers can go there with confidence knowing that when they're shopping for these healthier foods and health, healthier options they are getting what they're looking for yeah well we have a saying that we read the labels so you don't have to and that like we're really strict about what we bring into our uh, stores we have this huge no-no li list of uh, like certain chemicals or additives and products that if 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 a product has anything that's on our no-no list we don't allow it into our stores we're really strict about organic our organic produce we also like to bring in a lot of local produce um and that that it has to be certified organic i know there's different definitions of what's actually organic but um we're, we're pretty strict about it and sort of like hold to 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 the strictest definition uh of what's organic and, and then again with our vitamins and supplements we're really careful about safety and we're care we're, we're careful about only the highest quality ingredients you know go into them and we're really careful about like dosage so you know if it says you're getting 250 milligrams of something on the bottle, you're going to get that. You know, it's going to, uh, that the labels on all our products are, you know, 100% accurate. Uh, well, John, just another couple minutes with you before we'll say goodbye today. Anything else that would be interesting for our audience or important for our audience to know about your business at this time? Um, you know, I, I just think that, um, you know we're a family business my father was like really into uh vitamins and supplements growing up and it sort of drove me crazy when i was a kid because he you know he made us all like stop eating like white bread and drinking pop and all those kinds of things but you know uh as we grew up we we you know we we learned that he was right that you know eating healthy and 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 you know natural solutions you know uh is a better way to live and that and so we we took his ideas uh, as inspiration he's still involved in the business right now he's 91 years old and he's still working at our bloomfield store in the summertime like helping customers to, you know with their nutritional questions and so you know we're 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 a family business a michigan business and um we're here to help make it easier and less expensive for michiganders to reach their health and fitness goals. That's that's what, what we're all about. It's like a really personal commitment. Well, John, we appreciate your time. Thanks for telling us more about your business uh, and some of the th ways that you've changed throughout the pandemic. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Oh, yeah, it's great to speak with you.